Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Today is going to be so much fun. We take a look at the best ways for teens to make a little bit of scratch. Some extra money, maybe? That is our show. Can't wait to dive in. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. A credit union that offers Bitcoin? Give me five. <laughs> For a limited time only, get $5 of free Bitcoin through the Southland Credit Union app. Enrollment is quick and easy. There's no hidden fees, and you can conveniently fund Bitcoin purchases directly from a Southland account. Claim your free Bitcoin today by going to thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland. Bitcoin accounts and services provided by NIDIG. Not NCUA insured. Restrictions apply to Bitcoin bonus. See terms. And don't forget to check out thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland to sign up. All right, let's do this. The best ways for teens to make money. Of course, there isn't a minimum age where kids should start thinking about making money. While many parents either pay a regular allowance or just pay their kids to do some random jobs around the house, kids and teens can get valuable life experience by making their own money. You're never too young to start learning valuable financial habits. And the younger you start, the better off you'll be. Why Teens Should Make Their Own Money There are many differing opinions on whether parents should pay an allowance, how much, and for what. But as kids get older, it is common for parents to encourage them to look for a part-time job outside the home. About one-third of teenagers have a part-time job, and there are several advantages for teens working part-time, including... This is just four of them. Learning the value of money, working with others as part of a team, building life and work skills, gaining vocational experience that could prove useful in the future, among many other things. But while it's also important to balance the many other demands on teens' time, like schoolwork, social activities, auxiliary school activities, a part-time job can serve as valuable experience. That said... Let's take a look at some money-making ideas for teens, shall we? If you're a teenager or a parent of a teen that's looking for some ways, the best ways for teens to make money, here are just a few money-making ideas. And many of these are also on our list of the best summer money-making ideas for college students, too, which you can check out at thecollegeinvestor.com. First up, of course, a part-time job. Probably the easiest way to make money as a teenager but also the least likely to provide many future benefits. Upcycle. If you have an eye for fashion, you might try buying worn out items from garage sales or thrift stores and transform them into something that you could sell at a profit. Start a business. So your business might be babysitting, house cleaning, lawn mowing, or I don't know, whatever you have the skills and passion for. If you don't believe me that entrepreneurship is a key factor to making millionaires, we have an article titled Millionaires Before the Age of 25. Check that out at thecollegeinvestor.com. So cool. You can also tutor younger kids. Helping out by doing some tutoring and school projects you're strong in can be a great way to earn some extra cash. You could also look at being a referee or umpire for youth sports. I did that. It was fun or caddying at a local golf course, and I knew some friends who did that as well. They loved it. While many of our top side hustles are best done if you have the assets and experience of being an adult, a lot of them can be done by teens as well. We have tons of side hustle ideas at thecollegeinvestor.com. Okay, so let's take a look at active income versus passive income for a second, because this is huge. One important thing to consider when looking for ways to make money as a teen is the difference between active income and passive income. Active income, traditional money-making thing where you actually make money by actively using your time. The most common example of this is, of course, a part-time or full-time job. You trade a certain number of hours of your life in exchange for an hourly wage or a salary. The downside of active income is, is that you only have a limited number of hours per day, 24, and you got to sleep from a lot of them. So there's a cap on the amount of active income that you can earn. Passive income, on the other hand, is awesome. It's money you make without having to spend much, if any of your time. There are many different passive income ideas, 
but some common ones include selling an ebook online, using affiliate marketing like a, via a blog or social media, investing in real estate, and dividend stocks. The biggest advantage of passive income is that it's income that comes in without actively having to do something. If you write an ebook, you only have to write the book once, and you'll then continue to make royalties or commissions with every sale for the rest of the life of the book, even in your sleep. In theory, there is no limit to the amount of passive income you can make. How to invest your money as a teenager. All right, so once you get started earning some money, you want to make sure that you're spending, saving, and investing it wisely. You can get started investing in high school or even sooner. And the earlier you start, the more the power of compound interest will work in your favor. You'll want to divide your money roughly into three categories. Spending, money to handle your basic day-to-day -day needs, if you have any, and consider our list of the best checking accounts for teens, by the way, for this money. And you can find that, I say this a lot, I know, at thecollegeinvestor.com. You can also take a look at short-term savings, which is saving for near-term needs and wants, such as college. Long-term savings is investing for retirement and the future. The percentages of money you put into these categories is, of course, going to vary with your unique situation. But if you can, try to put at least half of your money into long-term savings. If you get into the habit of saving a good chunk of your income when you're young, this is going to serve you very well as you get older. Here's the bottom line. While there may be some money-making ideas that can only be done in, by adults, a lot of side hustles can be used by teens to make money as well. You can take a look at some of the passive income ideas to see if there is one that you think you have the skills and passion to pull off. Now, the younger you are when you start making money, the more time you have to find the right income sources for you and the more time you have for your investments to grow. Oh, this is so cool, especially if you get started when you're a teenager. I wish I did. So much fun today. I hope that gave you some really good ideas. And we mentioned a lot of articles you can look up. There's tons and tons of resources and ideas that you can dive even deeper on this at thecollegeinvestor.com. Please follow us, like us, whatever, on social media. We're everywhere. Just type in The College Investor wherever you are, and we'd love to get to know you a little bit better and help you along in your journey. Thanks again for stopping by today, and we'll talk to you again real soon.